evening class. How are you today? Hello, David. How's everything? How's everything? Fine? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Fine, fine. I, I was very, very, um, I don't know, uh, not confused, but I was in a hurry and a little surprised because I couldn't, I couldn't uh, record on a streaming, you know, because I'm in, in my daughter's house, so I couldn't record on a streaming. So probably oh. because their, the technology, remember that yesterday we were talking about some technology issues or problems? So yes, I remember. It, it happened to me now, right? So that's why I was a little delayed, right? Because I couldn't no record, I couldn't record on a streaming, so I had to do it on my computer. Right? Probably because there is, this is a different IP address, no? Something like that happens, no? When you change your IP, your IP address, you know, the system detects, detects something different. So they need, oh. a, they need a code, something else. Today we're gonna, okay, today we're gonna start with our lesson two and today's objective is to build up, build up some vocabulary about phrasal verbs, right? So we're going to build up vocabulary, try to identify and use as many as possible of these, these phrasal verbs, right? So go please to page 100, uh -huh, 100. And we are going to talk about phrasal verbs using technology, as you can see in the pictures, right? As you can see in the pictures. Yes, can you hear me correctly? Yes. Yes, no okay. worries. Okay, okay. Just let me know if there is any problem because it is raining it is raining those dogs and cats here. I'm not in Mexico City, I'm in the state of Mexico, but anyway, it's been raining a lot. Okay. So here we have different, different issues, different problems with different devices, right? What can you see? What can you see? I yes. can see, for example, in the letter A, the, the man that drive, mm -hmm. mm, I think call it a person but this person is no it's similar uh, like a spam or not not one to answer okay all right so it's, the, he doesn't want to answer probably uh -huh, because you can see at his body language no his body language yeah. his expression okay correct and what about mm. in picture b in the second one robot gonna to cooking, going to cooking, and the guy give given uh, some instruction. Mm -hmm. um, letter C, for example, the the room is so hot because there are a uh, 102 grades Fahrenheit. It's a hot, more or less 30 grades centigrade. And the girl it feels so hot or warm. I don't know what's correct. What do you want to express, David? What do you want to express then? Uh, I don't know what to say it's correct, but the, the girl is warm or hot. Okay, the girl is warm or hot. Because okay, are, yes. I don't know what I say is it's correct because yes. she's got she's when you are hot, tienes calor. Uh -huh. Okay. We interpret that in Spanish. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When you are hot, okay. yes, it's right. It's totally different. from it's because oh. probably you are <laughs> you are confusing that expression, right? In some mm -hmm. movies, no, that they say, "Oh, she is too hot." No, it's yes. muy ardiente. But this is a, in a sexual, in a sexual, of course, uh, context. In the context yes. that you say, "I'm cold, I'm hot," yeah, mm -hmm. no problem. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, different context, a different meaning. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yes. And uh, finally, 
the girl wake up and then go not to to do a coffee with the coffee mate or coffee machine and mm. the and the coffee machine it's broken because I don't fix it because the old coffee or the old wa water the ram flows mm -hmm. and she she's she's done how she's done how she don't understand that that passing that that happened okay okay so what do you want to express in this one dímelo en español to help you to help you express it in english okay la chica no no sabe qué está pasando qué le pasó a la cafetera que se rompió okay estropeó. so yes the girl doesn't know uh -huh, what happened with the coffee maker uh -huh. okay. That is broken. Is broken. Is broken. broken. Is okay. broken. No, the coffee maker is broken, and she doesn't know what happened. She doesn't know what happened. Right? All okay. Right. Very good. Let's listen. Listen. Yes. Match the conversations to the pictures, please, because you will listen to the conversations in a different order. Right? Okay. Yes. Let's check. Let me know that you are listening correctly, please. Okay. One. It's time to wake up. Would you like me to let you sleep a little longer? Good, yes. Okay. <sighs> yes. Are you sure? You do have a very busy day. I'll get up in five minutes. I'm going to turn on the coffee maker. Okay. Oh, no, wait. Don't turn on the coffee maker. It's broken. Oh, no. What a mess. Two. Jack, wash the dishes. I'm sorry, I can't. You forgot to charge me this morning. I'm running on economy mode, so I can save enough battery power to make the beds. No problem. Let me plug you in. Thank you. Oh, that feels nice. Three. It's way too cold in here. This is not good for your body. I'm going to turn up the thermostat. No way! I like it when it's cool. Turning up the thermostat in three, two, one second. Hey, what are you doing? Please turn the thermostat down. Turn it down. Four. Please look at the face detection device. I'm sorry, I can't recognize you. What do you mean? I can't recognize your face. Please look straight into the face sensor. I'm sorry, I still can't recognize you. Oh no, not again. You know what? I'm going to switch you off. Michael, you know you can't switch me off. You need to answer a few security questions. Okay, got it. Okay. The first, the first conversation was. The first conversation there is the girl letter D. The girl wake up um the broken uh, coffee coffee maker coffee machine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, the coffee, coffee maker or coffee machine, correct? The coffee machine. Then. The second is. The man with uh, with robot, uh -huh. don't he gonna to plug in the because the, the don't have a lot uh -huh. chair. Uh -huh. So he needs to charge it. No, doesn't have in or enough enough charge. No, or yes, enough battery. Enough. enough battery. All right, very good. What about the three? Three. The thermostat, the thermostat, um, turn on, 
and she, like, the girl don't want to to starting mm -hmm, because it's too hot. Yeah. Yes, because it's too hot. The letter C. Mm -hmm. But it's turning on and on, no? oh. again and again. Yes. A automatically. Automatically, right? Yes. And yes. what about, well, of course, the last one would be? And the final is letter E, letter A, pardon. A? I'm sorry, yes. letter yes, A. Yes. And what is going the, on here? The face don't reconnect on the... Face. Facial, the facial, facial recognition. Remember yesterday's, yesterday's vocabulary. The facial recognition is not working. No, the, the facial face. recognition is not working. And well, there is a problem to start the car. Yes. To start the car, right? Yes. Is to start the car or to go off the car? Do you remember? Was it to he start want, or to go off? He want to. Uh, turn off because to, uh, he said something like uh, I, I'm gonna to turn off uh, the computer answer you don't turn me off so I'm, mm -hmm. I you can't this. you can't turn me off okay you can't so turn this me. time you will uh, listen again and try to Try to figure out what is saying in each bubble, in each speech bubble, right? But what is missing? What phrase or words or couple of sen or sentence or couple of words, right, are missing in each sentence, right? So let's start with the coffee machine, right? So here we have the coffee machine is speaking, right? Then the girl is speaking. The coffee machine again, and then the girl, right? Mm -hmm. So listen right. again, and I'm going to pause it for you to have some time to take notes uh -huh, for the different, the different, of course, a speech bubble, speech bubble uh, sentences or words. Okay. Let's listen okay. one by one, one by one. Okay. One. It's time to wake up. Would you like me to let you sleep a little longer? <sighs> Yes. Are you sure? You do have a very busy day. I'll get up in five minutes. I'm going to turn on the coffee maker. Okay. Oh, no, wait. Don't turn on the coffee maker. It's broken. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to give you some time to, to take notes. In some of the speech bubbles, right? Yes. Some of the speech bubbles. Did you get for, some of them? Mm -hmm. For example, the first, it's time to wake up. Uh -huh, it's time to wake up. Very good, David. Yes. Mm -hmm. And second, six, the coffee maker and where I'm going to, or the, I'm going to turn the, um, the coffee maker. Number eight, no? Okay, it's time to wake number, up. And then number eight. I'm going to turn on the, the number coffee. six. Because some, number six is time to wake up. No, it's time to wake up, as you, you mentioned. It's time to wake up. No? Okay. And then I'm going to turn off, turn on the coffee turn machine. The coffee machine. Okay. And then, maker. Uh -huh, and then. And then. She says in seven you, and nine. And. Um, Seven, say yes, mm -hmm. don't, in the seven, say yes, and then don't turn the coffee maker because he's broken. Mm. Because he's broken. Then this, yes, then the second one, the second conversation. And then... She, uh, oh. oh no, yes. oh, no, no the... what a mess. Oh, no. There are a mess. What a mess. There are... What uh -huh. a mess. What a mess. Okay. What a mess. Two. Jack, wash the dishes. I'm sorry, I can't. You forgot to charge me this morning. I'm running on economy mode, so I can save enough 
battery power to make the beds. No problem. Let me plug you in. Thank you. Oh, that feels nice. Three. It's way too cold in here. This is not good for your body. I'm going to turn up the thermostat. No way! I like it when it's cool. Turning up the thermostat in three, two, one second. Hey, what are you doing? Please turn the thermostat down. Turn it down. Four. Please look at the face detection device. I'm sorry, I can't recognize you. What do you mean? I can't recognize your face. Please look straight into the face sensor. I'm sorry, I still can't recognize you. Oh no, not again. You know what? I'm going to switch you off. Michael, you know you can't switch me off. You need to answer a few security questions. Okay, one more time, because it's very, very fast, and then you have to write down. What about the second one? The second the, conversation. The second conversation uh -huh, is, the boy is telling the robot. Let me plug you in. Uh -huh, let me plug you in. Let me plug you yes. in. Correct. Then um, the, girl. the the girl. It's the well. Please turn the thermos down. Mm -hmm. And the thermostat, I'm going to turn up the thermostat. Okay. And the boy and the and speaker. The, the boy, okay. Let me, I'll get, no. I'm going to say, let me, let me, you, the two, it's, you know, you can switch me off. Mm -hmm. You know you can switch me off. Okay, so let's check. And finally. Finally. Oh, sorry. This is it. You know, I'm going to control most of this. I don't know if it's correct, but don't. I'll get up. If, no. I get up in. I'm going to switch you off. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to switch you off. Mm -hmm. So let's check. Let's check the. In that case, uh -huh, talking about the speech bubbles. Okay, here we have. Yo te la puse más difícil, no? Because I didn't show you this first. We didn't see this first. But this is for practicing, practicing listening, of course, right? So, I'll get up in five minutes is one of the moments with the coffee maker, the coffee machine, right? Let me plug you in, let me plug you in that you mentioned is the man telling the robot, no? Yes. I'm going to switch, to switch you off. I'm going to switch you off is... Letter L two. In I'm going to switch you off. Let her see and the bubble one. Okay. In that case, please turn the thermostat down. Turn it down. The girl, no? Turn down. In the girl. Picture C. Okay. The girl in picture C. Of course. Uh -huh. Turn it down. Uh -huh. And don't turn on the coffee maker. Don't turn off the coffee maker is nine. Don't turn. Okay. You know you can switch me off. You know you can't switch me off. It's the like, it's the like number two. Number two. Okay. And I'm going to turn on the coffee maker. Uh, I'm going to turn the coffee maker is no. number six. Six. Six or eight? Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Eight. And I'm going to turn off the thermostat. Turn off. Eight, four. Four, of Number course, the four. device. The device is speaking, no? Because they are smart devices. It's time to wake up. 
letter E. And uh, sorry, six, number six. six. Number six, correct. Okay, let's check the answers. Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Uh -huh. More challenging, more challenging when I told you make notes, but more challenges makes you pay more attention, right? Es lo que he notado. Y a veces entre más reto, como que ponen un poquito más de atención, ¿no? <laughs> Los alumnos, right? Because if you already have everything, eh, sometimes it's not the same, probably the same challenge, ¿no? No es el mismo reto. That happens, ¿no? But you got it. You have not really, you, you don't really have a lot of problems with listening, right, David? No, no. I don't. Listening and vocabulary, uh, no, you don't have. Probably a little bit, a little bit with pronunciation and mainly with grammar, right? You don't like grammar, yes, right? Um, yes, you don't yes, like yes. it. Yes, my, my main problem is the grammar and the speaking. Okay. Well, in speaking, you are, of course, practicing and you are improving little by little, but you are, you have done it. You have done it. You have improved. Since the beginning no. till now, you have improved. Yeah, a lot. I know that you don't, you don't feel probably that confident because you cannot maintain a conversation with a native speaker in more professional terms. But believe me, it's going to happen. That will going to happen. You will maintain a conversation with more professional and, com and conversational issues, but it's practice, right? Si te has metido algún club de conversación or not yet? Yes. Okay, and how, yes. how you felt? ¿Cómo te has sentido? I feel good. For example, the last one, I'm talking about the, the teacher uh, mention, mentioned it that three objects around of us and make mm -hmm. a story how how arrived to 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 me mm -hmm. and i feel good i feel good excellent so the more you practice the better for sure yeah that is the okay. purpose okay guys so in that case Talking about the phrasal verbs we have in these conversations, can you match the phrasal verbs we have here from one to seven to the letters A to, to G? So get up, what will be the meaning of get up? Get up, uh, get up when wake up on the bed. Oh. Okay. Wake up. Uh -huh. So that would be. Let's check. Get up. So we say letter. Letter E. To get out of the bed, of course. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I think wake up is get out of the bed. It's sorry. I, I okay. think. So in that case, no, get up, it's okay, but wake up. Get up. up. Maybe to stop sleeping. Wake up to stop sleeping, yes, to stop sleeping. Okay. And get up, get out of bed. Get log in. Bed. Uh -huh, log in. Log in when connect something for to connect to electric, electric, electric yeah. Sorry, to connect to an electrical outlet. Okay, to connect to an electrical outlet. Yes, very good. Turn up. Turn up. Uh, in, to increase. Mm -hmm. To increase. To increase. Oh, sorry, Another sorry. B, hours. B, B. To increase. Turn down will be. To decrease. To degree. So we can say the volume turn up or turn down the volume or something, no? Or turn mm, off and uh, turn on the radio, turn off machine. the thermostat, no? Yes. Uh -huh. turn, turn up, up, turn it down, right? To, the volume or something. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Turn on or switch on. Mm, to, start. Uh -huh, to start. To start. And of start. course, turn off or switch off. Turn off. Turn off is to letter C to stop. 
the stop, the opposite, no? Yes. So turn on the opposite of turn off or switch up, right? Mm -hmm. So both are valid or are possible. What which of these do you listen more in in TJ? For example, turn on or switch on. What the logos when you go to the states? The boat. Both? The you boat to turn both? on. Turn on. Turn I'm sorry. Not, yes, I mean, I'm sorry. I understand the other thing. I'm the one that turn you off listen. or turn off. I, 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 so you listen more turn on than turn switch on. on. Switch on is not very common in, in, in San no, Diego, for not, example. Or no, LA. it's not coming. No, it's mm -hmm. not coming. Normally, where do, you, uh, where do you usually travel to? Uh, LA or San Diego or, or where? Uh, I'm go, uh, normally, I'm going to San Diego. All right. So turn on is more common. And turn on. Yes, it's more mm -hmm. common. Turn on. Then switch off. Okay. Circle the correct options, David. The TV is too loud. Turn down it or turn it down? Too mm, loud. Turn. Uh, I think it's turn it down. Mm -hmm. Turn it down. Okay, let's circle it like this. The lights are very bright in here. Turn them off or turn off them? Uh, the similar, turn them, turn them off. Turn them off. Uh -huh. Turn them off. And in phrasal verbs, pronouns like them or it usually come after or between the verb and the particle. Between. Between. No? We go between the verb and the particle. That's why it's incorrect to say turn down it or turn off them. That is incorrect. The correct one is in the middle, no? In the middle of the verb and the particle, right? Yes. In that case, turn it down, turn it off, right? Remember that when we link the sounds together, they sound a little bit different. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, right? Turn it down. Turn it down, turn it, turn it up. Turn them off. Or turn them. Turn them off. Turn them. Unas personas ni siquiera. Yes? Turn them. Turn them. Turn them. Turn them. Turn them. Turn them off. In songs, for example, and when people are speaking yeah, quickly, they don't even use them. No? Turn them. Turn them. Tell her. Tell her. También tell her. Tell him. Dile a ella. Dile a él. Tell him. Tell her. Right? No suena ya la H here. It doesn't sound it's silent, no? That's why we listen to it differently, no? You say, it is totally different as I listen in my English class. Yeah, because it is silent. No? Some words, or some, some words, no, some uh, sounds become silent, no? Okay. Anyway, let me show you the answers, of course. Mm -hmm. As, mm -hmm. as we mentioned, they are correct. No? They are totally correct. Okay. Okay, let's go to page 152, just to practice a little bit of these phrasal verbs, please. Uh -huh. Practice yes. a, little bit, a little bit further, and then we are going to, to finish with pronunciation uh -huh. and questions. Okay, so 100, and okay, here it is. Here, phrasal verbs, 153, right? 153. Okay. Okay. Complete with the prepositions. What will be the correct preposition in number one? Mm -hmm. So you have to use down one once, in twice, off, on, and out. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. gonna let you do it individually mm -hmm. for two okay. minutes. Uh -huh. and, two minutes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, and then let's check. Let's check. Yes, do it. Or, yes. or more than two minutes if you need. Don't worry. Okay, teacher. No problem, of course. Okay, please switch the lights when you leave. Turn off the lights when you leave. Where can I plug in my cell phone? I need to charge it. Can you turn the air conditioning a little? Condition down a little, really up. Mm, 
condition a little. It's really cold in here. Off, I think I got uh, okay. When you check in online flight, the company mails you the boarding pass so you can, can print on home. Remember Get that the, the, on, the only particle or the only preposition that you have to use twice is in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the other. And it's getting cold. I'm going to put out a sweater. Turn on the sweater. Okay, I think end it. Okay, so please switch the off. light off uh, the lights now when you leave. Off the lights Excellent. When you leave. Very good. Where can okay. I plug my cell phone? Uh, in. Where can Travel. I plug in my cell phone? Plug in my cell phone. Uh -huh. I need, I need to, to charge it. it. Charge it. Uh -huh. Okay. Charge it. Can you turn charge the air it. conditioning? A little I, a down a little down a little down or up because it says it's really cold in here it's really cold uh, I, so, I got a doubt because I uh -huh. got a little question because yes. for example I think it's up for me it's up but don't have the up <laughs> or is the other okay. word Yeah, because if you say turn it down, it's really cold in here. In here, doesn't have any sense, no? Mm -hmm. When you turn the air conditioning up. For me, it's up. For now, we don't have because up it's, any up. It's really right. cold in here. It's really cold in here, so you need a little, a little bit warm, right? To be warm, right? Yeah, you mm -hmm. are right. We are missing up. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and the, the next and the book, one, uh, no, uh -huh. and the next the book one doesn't have that option. When you checked in online for a flight, the company emails you the boarding pass so you can print, print in, at, no, print on at home. Print it down, print it down at home. No, print it down. Okay. Um, and get the car. At getting yeah. the car. Mm. But it says, I'll take you to the bus station. So get off. Get off the car. Sal del carro. Get off the car. That will be the opposite. I'll take you to the bus station. I take you to, I'll take you to the bus station, right? So get off. Get off the car. I'll take you to the bus station. It's getting cold. I'm going to put. I'm getting. I'm going to put out a sweater. Put on. Put on. Put on. Put on a sweater. Put on. Put on. Put on a sweater. Yeah. Put on. That would be right. Ponerse. No? Okay. Put on. Vestir. Put on a sweater. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. So in that case, um, turn out a little. No. Turn off, no. Turn up. Pero no tenemos esa opción. You, you have the same, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. I got it the same. Yes, because of this, it's really cold in here, so turn it up. Necesito más calorcito, no? Yes. The thermostat. I think, I think, for example, can you turn on? Mm -hmm. the, well, can you turn the air condition on a little a little it's really cold in here maybe but turn on would be enciéndelo uh -huh. or a turn little on. but you don't turn a little no no lo enciendes un poquito lo enciendes o lo apagas no oh yes of course uh -huh. turn it down or turn it up a little yes but turn it down a little would be 
It's really in... the opposite now. It's really, uh -huh. turn it down a little. It's really hot, no? It's really it's hot, really so that will be the other way around. Let's continue. Let's try to continue mm -hmm. uh -huh, with this one. Okay, well, in this case, this is in on a scramble sentences. Let's do it together. This is a question. Okay. This is a question. So what will first be first? Are, are you? Uh -huh. you? Are you uh -huh. watching? Uh -huh. Are you watching? Are you are you into? Are you into watching? Are you into watching? What? Horror, horror movies? Watching horror movies? Alone? Alone? Are you into watching horror movies alone? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, very good. And the second? Mm -hmm. She is looking mm -hmm. for... Mm -hmm. She's looking for her... What kind of glasses? Her, I think it's her glasses. No, but we are missing reading. Her reading glasses. Sorry? Son her reading glasses. Porque son sus lentes para leer. No? Her Remember reading. that we have some glasses, no? Short sight glasses, sus lentes para ver de lejos, short sighted. Como miope. Uh -huh. So reading glasses, es para ver de ser, para leer, ¿no? So she's looking for her reading glasses. Her for reading? She's looking for, looking for, is buscar, mm -hmm. look for, look for. Yes. Uh -huh. She's looking for her reading mm -hmm. glasses. Okay. Her reading glasses. ¿Qué tipo de, de uh, what kind of glasses? Reading glasses. Uh -huh. Okay. Reading glasses. Then this, the third one is a question as well. The next one. How? How mm, 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 mm. it's because here we have How some many? Uh -huh. as you can see we have look for drop out uh -huh. drop out uh -huh. how many drop out drop out is salirse o desertar no that we have yes. when we were talking about college or school uh -huh. drop out of school okay how many people People, people, drop it out. Many people drop out. Um, how, how many, many people dropped drop out? Drop out color. Drop out. How many this people college. drop out? This college. This college. No? How many people have? Uh, how many people this. drop out? This college. Right. This college. This yes. college. This college, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and the next one, it's other. Did he bending? How did? How did? How did he? How did he? Or how did, did the vending machine? Or what, what do you want? We have, what would be the subject? He, no. the vending machine. Sorry. Money. No. Because we have much. How much money? Mm -hmm. How much money? How much money? He did. Did? Huh? How much money did he put in? He put in that vending. Put in that vending. Machine. Put in uh -huh. Vending machine. Mm -hmm. How much oh. money did he put in the vending machine? Right? The vending machine. Okay. All right. And then. The and last the phrase that we have here is take off. Take off take will off. be take off will be in this context will be the opposite of put on. 
put on oh. my sweater. Oh, I need to take out uh, take off my sweater because it's very hot now, right? Or I don't need to put on a sweater in t in TJ because it's very hot. Okay, in that case, take off is when Quitarse. don't use quitarse. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. when you don't need it. Uh -huh. In this particular context, yes. In the airport, is different because in the airport would be the opposite of landing. The flight is taking off. Está despegando. Mm -hmm. At the airport. Yes. But for this, for clothes, yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You to... mm -hmm. take off your shoes before you... So in that case will be take off your shoes, take off your shoes. Take off your shoes. Take off your shoes before, before you, you, come. you come in. Like you in Japan. In. Like in Japan. No, take out your shoes. Take off your shoes before you come in. Yes? In Japan, yes. that is usual, no? Because yes. it's part of the culture. It's part of the culture, of course. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have more okay. free like look for, drop out that we have already checked it before. Right? Mm -hmm. Put in and take off. Put in. And take off the take off. Uh -huh. take off. Right? For clothes, done or take off. Right? Okay. Remember that phrasal verbs, right? Remember that phrasal verbs are uh, verbs with a particle, right? This particle is most of the time a preposition, but it can also be an adverb, right? Uh -huh. So remember that a phrasal verb is a combination of a verb. So this particle, preposition of adverb, as I told you, that usually has a different meaning to the original verb. For example, look, focus your eyes in a particular direction. Look for, try to find. Phrasal verbs are very common in informal, fluent speech and writing, right? In language, of course, right? Most phrasal verbs are separable. So, that, that the one that we saw, no, the ones that we saw, the object can between the verb and the particle. She turned the lights on. She turned on the light. Yes. So it, some of them can be like uh, turn on or turn on. Uh -huh. Can be separable or no. Both are correct. Yeah. But when 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 you separate, the subject is in between the verb and the preposition or the adverb, the particle. Mm -hmm. A few are inseparable, a few. So this is the only possibility when they are not separable. How do we know that some of them are separable or no? By practicing them, because phrasal verbs are part of the vocabulary, right? So it's just by practice, by practice. Juan cared for his mother when he, she was sick. So you don't say, Juan care his mother for. No, this is not possible to separate it in this case. Care for, always together, right? So to find out the phrase are very inseparable, look it up in a dictionary. It's another, another strategy, of course, right? Because, well, you cannot memorize all of them. We have even, well, there are even a whole dictionaries of just phrasal verbs. Just phrasal verbs, whole, whole dictionaries, digital or, or on paper, but they are a lot. They, they are a bunch of phrasal verbs, no? So look it up in a dictionary. It's possible, of course, it's very easy. Mm -hmm. Nowadays it's easier, right? So in that case, uh, well, we have more examples like the ones that we have already, we have already uh, practiced, no? Turn it up, no? Talking about the volume of TV, or switch on the light, or switch the light on, no? because in this case, they are uh, separable phrasal verbs, right? Separable, give back, or give it, uh, give back my back, or give it, give it back. Give it back is possible, no? And can you help me look for them 
look for is not separable. For example, look for is always look for together, right? Like care for, right? It's inseparable, right? Mm -hmm. right? And they are arguing, no? They are arguing by the remote control. The parents are arguing and also the children, no? Okay. Well, this is a joke, but of course the humor is different in in, 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 in other countries now. In 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 English or in, well, in English speaking countries, it's not the same humor as Mexico, of course, right? Or or, or Venezuela or Colombia, etc. Right? Okay, okay, David. Let's right. Finish. Yeah, let's finish this lesson uh, about phrasal verbs by uh, doing a couple of activities here. Right? Okay. So in that case, F complete one to five with phrasal verbs from C, from the phrasal verbs we were talking about previously. Get up, wake up, plug in, turn up, turn down, turn or switch, on or off. Right? Okay. So what would you say? Mm -hmm. Let's create two more questions using phrasal verbs from the box. Okay, these questions, we are going to check them tomorrow. Uh -huh. So create the questions for tomorrow, please. Uh -huh. At least one question. If not two, at least one. Uh -huh. And hopefully tomorrow we have more, more uh, classmates to ask them the questions, right? So what time do you usually in the mornings during the week and at the weekends? What would you say? What time do you usually what? In the mornings, during the week, and at the weekends. How long is it just, how long is it usually before you? What would you say in this first part? What wake up. Uh-huh. What time the do you first? usually wake up? What time do you usually wake up in the mornings? Uh-huh. And how long is it usually before you? Before get up. You, before you get up. Uh -huh. How often do you your cell phone completely? How long How before you, you eat How? again? How often do you uh, plug in your cell phone? Okay. How often do you plug in your cell phone completely? How long before How you... Long before? Mm. Turn on? No. How turn it off or turn it on again? What would you say? Turn off? Turn it off again or turn it? Yeah, turn it off again. How long before oh, you turn, turn off. it off? You turn it off? You turn it off again, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Turn, turn it, it off. off. Turn it off again. Okay. okay. When, yeah. uh, when your favorite songs are playing, do you usually... When your favorite... When your favorite songs are playing, do you usually... Mm, do you turn usually up. Turn up the volume mm -hmm, because you like them, right? Do you have any devices that you... And with your voice, an idea... Do you, um, do you have any device that you and um, with your voice? How many do you have any device that you turn on? Okay, you have any devices that you turn on and turn off? Turn off with your voice, no? Like yesterday we were talking about the voice uh, activated the speakers, no? How many yeah. devices do yeah. you have to an outlet now at home? How many devices do you have? Turn down? Mm, to an outlet. Outlet now. Outlet. Acuérdate que es corriente. Toma corriente. Oh, I'm sorry. To plug in. Plug in to an outlet at home. Mm -hmm. So let's home. check the answers. Uh -huh. Check the answers, of course. Wake up or get up, as we said. Wake Switch up, or turn off. Up. Switch or turn off. Switch or turn on. The second one. Mm -hmm. 
switch off or turn off. The first one, your cell phone completely switch off. Turn on again, turn it up again. That will be turn off in number three, as you mentioned. Turn off the volume. Now about your favorite songs. And switch or turn on. And switch or turn off. The opposite. And plug in. How many devices do you have? Plug in. Plug in. Plug in. So this, uh, this plug, is in. plug in. Do you have plug in? Tienes conectadas. Plug in. ¿Cuántos dispositivos tienes conectados al tomacorriente ahora en casa? Uh -huh. And remember, using any of these phrasal verbs in the box, go out, stay in, pick up, put down, put on, take off, stand up or sit down, make at least one, one question using any of these ones, any of these ones. So you will, you will prepare four questions uh -huh, for your classmates for tomorrow, please. Yes, in the speaking Friday. All right. Okay, because you will have a conversation right. about different technology items and different devices. Right. Thank you, David. Okay, Thank you right. very much. Thank you. Excellent night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, too. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. You, you too, teacher. Bye. I'm sorry.